everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Over the last couple of weeks I've been making some pop-up boxes. One has been made with dies and the other one has been done without dies. But obviously these are not going to fold flat, they're not going to go into an envelope. So I'm going to show you how to make a box to stand your pop-up box into and give it as a gift. So to make the box for my pop-up boxes I'm going to need three pieces of card that, that are exactly the same. Two are going to make the box sides, the third one is going to make the lid. And as always I would advise you to make a template before you start. So this is my template that I've created for my, my box. And these two pieces are made exactly the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is score this at 11 centimetres and I, I'm using a scoreboard so that I can get an accurate measurement. So we'll fold that and then we'll push that into the corner and we'll score again at 11 centimetres. Now we need to make a tab. So I'm going to score it again at 13 centimetres and this bit I'm going to get rid of. And then we can fold that in and that's going to be the bit that fastens the box together. So I've got my two pieces of card scored at 11 centimetres and again at 11 centimetres with a little tab on the end and both are the same. So I'm going to pop one of them on the box, on the, the scoreboard and score it again at 5 centimetres. Keeping them the same way around and this is the right side facing upwards. I'm scoring again at 5 centimetres. Now once I've done that, I need to cut these pieces. So I don't need this bit on the end, so I'm going to trim that off. And then this one I'm going to cut up to the, the 5 centimeter line. And then I need to just take triangles out of each of the flaps and that will allow your box to fold a lot neater as you make it up. So I'm now going to pop it down, this is the wrong side so I'm folding up the flaps and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other piece. So I made templates earlier they are going to be kept now for the next time I need to make the box. But now that we've got the good pieces cut, what I need to do is make sure that they will all fit together. And that's the, the two flaps are going to fold up on the bottom and the same on the other side. The glue will be added onto the side pieces along there and that will glue your box together. Now if you wanted to leave it plain, that's fine, you can leave it just as it is and once it's glued that will make a nice sturdy box. Glue the flaps at the bottom as well and then you can line the centre of the box with some matching card if you wish. But I want to take this a little step further. So what I'm going to do before I glue anything in place is I'm going to use, if you have them, some die cuts. Now I want to put a pattern in the box panels, so I'm taking a die, this is um, interlocking hearts from Spellbinders and the die comes in two parts. I'm not using the outer part, I just want this that will cut that pattern into my card. So I'm going to lay it on my card, I'm going to tape it in place and I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine and then I'm going to do exactly the same on that panel and it needs to be embossed as well so that it will bring out the detail in the card. 
So once I've put the, the pattern in the four panels to my card, to my box, I'm going to line it with a piece of acetate. So all I'm doing is just covering up the pattern with the acetate and that will help to strengthen the box. Now it looks white but it will dry clear. So once the acetate's set, we're now going to add some glue along this tab and we're going to pop the box, the other side to the box, in place. So we'll just add it in along there and we're going to make sure that all the edges are level. And then once we've done that, we can turn it over and we can do exactly the same to the other side. So I've just added in some paper clips just to keep the joins fastened together till the glue sets. And that's your box shape done. Now what you need to do is push two of the panels in and the other two down on top. And what you're going to do is add glue along here so that it glues that box bottom together. Make sure your box is square when you do it. So once your box is all glued in place you can measure across there which we know is 11 centimeters. So I've cut myself a little panel at 10 and a half square and I'm going to add some glue to the bottom of this in the corners and I'm going to pop that into the bottom of my box and that will just line it and keep it square. So once your box base is complete, we're going to make the lid. Now we know that across the top there, that is 11 centimeters, but I want a nice overhang coming down the box. So I'm going to make an extra two and a half centimeters on each side. So two and a half, and two and a half is five, plus 11 is 16 centimetres. So I need to make a little notch in my card at 16 centimetres, but then I need to move that just slightly over. So I'm moving it slightly to the left so that the notch is now on a, a flat panel. There's my 16 centimetres. And then I'm going to come back to the 16 centimetre groove and score it down and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side find my 16 and a half 16 centimeters move it out just a little bit just a tad and then score it down the 16 centimeter mark and then this is the panel that I need to work on so I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to score it again so again, coming into my scoreboard, there's my two mark and there's my three. So I'm going at the two and a half centimetres and I'm scoring it all the way down. And then I'm going to turn it round and do exactly the same. And I'm going to do it on all of the sides. Now, once I've done that, I can fold these pieces up and burnish them with my bone folder. And then I need to cut the notches in it that will make it lie better on my card. So I need some scissors and I'm going to cut up one of the, the folds and I'm just going to take a triangle off the middle and off the side. And I'm going to do that on all four corners. So once I've got these notches cut, I want to put some pattern into the top of my lid. And again, I'm using a Spellbinders die, and this one is called Majesty. And it has an outer cutting edge, which I don't need, but it has this piece that cuts the pattern in the card. So I'm going to pop it in the centre there and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. 
So once your pattern's been cut into your lid, I've lined it with some acetate and I've folded in the little tabs with some glue along here and I've just fastened them all together. And that then will make the lid that will sit on your box. So there you have a box that will take the pop-up box card. One I've left plain and you just pop the, the pop-up box inside and the other one I've decorated with die cuts but if you don't have the die cuts then it doesn't matter you don't need to decorate it and as I said to you at the very beginning what I would do is create yourself a template and keep your template safe so for the next time that you want to make the box write your measurements on it and then you know what you're doing